Thanks everybody for being with us here at noon. I'm Karen Drew. Families have been fighting that tower at Washington Elementary School for months now, and a judge has just issued a temporary restraining order. Sean Lay has been following this story for us from the very beginning. He joins us live in Wyandotte this afternoon with the very latest. Sean. Karen, great to see you at this noon hour. Look, we're going to lay out exactly what this controversy is all about to get you up to speed, but also this controversy has had ripple effects, perhaps at your child's school. Other districts, other parents have been coming here, talking to parents and attorneys about this cell tower. They're concerned about cell towers on their school or that could end up on their school. Here's the tower right here. This is Washington Elementary. You can see it there. That's only part of the equipment of the cell tower. T-Mobile wanted to fire that thing up, make it active the last the day after the last day of school this week. A judge has now ruled T-Mobile cannot switch that on for now. This is the T-Mobile cell phone tower that the now former superintendent for Wyandotte Schools approved to be installed right on top of Washington Elementary. Residents say it's ugly. Parents say the radiation it generates to improve cell phone service would expose their kids every moment they are in school. And they say not enough is known about potential health risks that they fought this tower tooth and nail. There's more. The equipment that powers the tower was approved to be installed on the school's playground. With Superintendent Catherine Cost having the tower installed, it cost her her job. She resigned amidst the controversy. The issue then went to court. Parents fighting to get rid of the tower, winning a big round number one. A judge ruling that T-Mobile cannot turn the tower on for now. Back here live, we've been meeting with parents and their attorney, who's also a parent all throughout this process. They're so organized, they communicate very well, and they now have this one round win. But T-Mobile has a contract, Karen, with the schools here, a contract that says that, look, the schools said this was okay. They're going to leave it here. All this is headed to court. There'll be a hearing on that. T-Mobile will get to present their side of things. That's going to happen June 12th. Another thing to tell you about, since we've been reporting on this Wyandotte situation, Karen, the city of Detroit council is asking for a study, a health study now, because there are towers around Detroit schools as well. Back to you. There sure are. As you said, many school districts are taking a close look at how this is all going right. to figure out. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sean.